let's see. Here's today's guests, right? We've hmm? got David Peachy from uh, Bernard's Watch, mm -hmm. uh, Gareth Jones from How To, and the main guest presenter today is Anthea Turner. All right, the singer. No, no, that's Tina Turner. I'm talking about <laughs> Anthea Turner. Oh, I know, the one who does the animal programme. No, that, that's Wendy, her sister. Oh, I didn't know Wendy Turner was Tina Turner's sister. Look, she isn't. Why'd you say she was, then? I didn't. Look, see, Anthea Turner is Wendy Turner's sister, not Tina Turner's sister, and she's the one who's coming on the show. Have you got that? Yes. Good. Tina Turner's coming on the show. No, Anthea Turner! You changed your mind again. You're just trying to make me look stupid. Zig, I promise I'm not trying to make you look stupid. There's no point. You look stupid enough already. Well, that's all right, then. <laughs> now, there's one thing you must remember about Anthea Turner. You fancy her. I fancy her. No, 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 I, I don't I don't fancy her. Well, then, uh, why have you written Zag fancies Anthea all over your script, then? Uh, uh, my pencil. Um, the, look, the thing is, right, Anthea Turner is used to nice things. Fluffy, cuddly, lovely, nice things. Got that? Got it. Nice and fluffy. Good. Got it. Yes, sir, got it. You can rely on me. Aye, aye, Captain, nice and fluffy. Big 10-4, good buddy. I'll go and prepare now. Oh, and don't forget the 50p for the power meter. Yes, Captain. Good boy, Zig. Let's go. Show to do. Show time. Yes, indeed. <laughs> to the Zig and Zag Show. And the word of the week is window. Listen out for it. Cool! <laughs> OK, you bunch of nose explorers, who, who are, are you? you? The audience! And, and what are you watching? The Last year's Eurovision, now you're flipping well not, and you flipping well know it. This is the Blue and Zig and Zag Show. Zig, 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 Zig. Anthea, remember? Oh, right. Sorry, Zag. Um, hmm. Slip of the tongue. Um, fluffy and nice. Won't happen again, sir. Aye, aye. Thank you. Oh, thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, please welcome our co-presenter for today's show, the one and only Anthea Turner! OK, here's the big welcome. Genius! Wait till you see this. That was nice. This is fluffy. Zig, you've just dropped loads of kittens and puppies on Anthea Turner. I know. Brilliant, isn't it? Oh, oh no. What? <coughs> Following concerns about the Zig and Zag show in which it looked like puppies and kittens were dropped onto Anthea Turner, we would like to assure viewers... But of course, only really depressed puppies and kittens were used. We would like to apologise for that last apology. And for the puppies and kittens, which were, of course, toys and not real. We hope viewers will appreciate that at least no one made a joke about it raining cats and dogs. It looks like it's been raining cats and dogs around it. Cats and dogs! Oh, oh. Zag, here's a special cushion for Anthea to sit oh, on. Yes, yes, it's, it's, oh. it's nice and fluffy. Thank you, thank you. Oh, 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 Anthea, Anthea, there, Anthea, there you are, darling. Yeah. Thank you so Just much. Just take that. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> 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 Honestly. I'm um, sorry, how was I to know it was still loaded? Yes, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry, sorry baby. Never mind, please, don't worry about it. So, um, uh, Anthea. Yeah. <laughs> Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, 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 everything's you just... Sure? Fine. So there's absolutely nothing. Then. Actually, there's little something. Yes. Just little something. You know, you know the car that you sent f to pick me up yes, from yes. my house. Uh, I mean, it was a very nice car, but it just got this weeny, weeny little scratch on the window. Car on the way home. Oh, thank you very much. That's good. Really well kind. then, that's great. Thank you. That's great. Only, what if they actually forget and they go and send that car back to me again? I mean, you know, so what do you want us to do? <laughs> well, I was just thinking that if you could really doubly, doubly, doubly make sure yes. I don't get that car. Yes. If maybe 
Well, I've got a diagram. Let me just show you what, what I'd, li I'd like to happen. This, this, this is the car. Yes. Right? And, and there's the little scratch on the window there. Right. And then I thought, if we got one of these crushers. Yes. And it, and it crushed the car, crushed and it crushed the... it into a little box like that. That's the kind of car. Oh, not the third bad car, yes. box, yes. right? OK. And then what we do is we pick a big, big, big hole. Big hole. Big hole. Yeah. And we put the crushed car inside the hole. Oh. And then on top of the crushed car, we put cement. There you yes. go. It's a little cement mixer oh, there, yes. right? OK. Oh. Then we fill in the hole. Oh. And then we put barbed wire. No, and just no. make doubly doubly sure we put tigers and lions inside. Right, just so. Do you think you, you could possibly do that for me, please? Mm. Yeah. yeah, well, this is a very, very good idea so to avoid yeah. getting the car yeah. with a scratch yeah. in the window. Yeah. But it, it's just that that would cost a lot of money. And... <sighs> oh, well. Well, if, if you can't be bothered, uh, okay. I, I completely understand. And it well, it's a not... Uh, uh, okay. If money's yeah. a problem... Yes, yeah, all right. See, can you go and sort that out, please? Yeah, well, maybe we could open it up as a theme park as well! <laughs> a fluffy and nice theme park! <laughs> this, this. Anthea, nice. perhaps um, you'd like to introduce this week's speciality act. Oh, I'd love to. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to a truly... Historic moment for the first time ever on television in Ooh. this great United Kingdom of ours. We are proud to present to you for your delectation and delight an act that is six years six. in the making. This wow. man has spent his wow. entire life preparing for this extraordinary spectacle Whoa. you're about to witness. Wow. We give you Derek and his exploding pants. Yeah. Yeah. But before but before he takes to the stage, a few words of warning. I'm sorry, a few words of warning before he comes on. Members of the audience in the front row, please lower your visors and make sure all your safety clothes are... Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Oh, dear. Uh, timing. Secret of good comedies, timing. Um, I think it's time for a commercial break. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> see, see you. Um, uh, you OK, Auntie? I've got this little, little scratch on my hand there. This little scratch. Oh, was your point being? Time. Some dirt could get in it oh. and then it couldn't fit my whole arm. Oh. I might have to have it amputated. Oh, and yes. Yeah. Oh. Maybe I should have a little sling or something. Uh, a zig, uh, zig, a sling for Anthea, please. <laughs> Certainly, a nice, cuddly, warm, fluffy sling for Anthea coming up. What? Blimey. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> yes, fluffy and nice. Um, any chance of a coffee, lads? Uh, yeah, hang on, Zach, I've got a great hand here. Tell you what, though, she's a bit of a blooming wimp, isn't she? Anthea, I mean. Sick. Beautiful things are fragile. Butterflies, the last rose of summer, <sighs> the titan. Well, she's Anthea... blooming get them my blooming goat these and are, all the demands happy. and stuff. Hey, lads, Anthea's asked me to put these in the back of the car, is that all right? Oh, did she indeed? Yeah. Well, you can tell Anthea. Um... Fluffy and nice, fluffy and nice. Of course, right outside the scene dock there, Jez. OK. Outside the scene dock, yeah. Oh, yeah, be sure you get in the right one, though. You don't want to get in the one with the tiny scratch. Oh, yes, yes. That is a dodgy back door locks. That's going to be crushed just about now. Ah! I quite liked him. He was funny. <laughs> yeah, he was a scream. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> boys. I was just wondering if it would be all right if I did the opening to part two. Well, oh, well, well, well no, it blooming well wouldn't. Zig, That's my zig, job. Zig, zig. Fluffy, nice, of course. <laughs> yes, certainly, Anthea, darling. Thank whatever you, you like. Thank you. And perhaps later you and I could... Hello there. Oh. Welcome back to part two of the Anthea Turner Show. Coming yeah. up, we've got Dave Peachy from Bernard's Watch and Gareth Jones from How To. Um, um, um uh, uh, Anthea. Turner Show. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I don't want to interfere or upset you or anything, but you just said the Anthea Turner show instead of the uh, Sig and Zag show. Oh, I couldn't have possibly said that. Yes, you fluff and well did, nice Anthea, and you Zig? fluff and well know it. Um, actually, um, I think you did. Can, can we watch the tape back, please? Hello there, and welcome to part two of the Zig and Zag show, presented by Zig and, of course, Zag, who I love. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> Please welcome our next guest, who is Dave Peachy from Bernard's Watch. Cool. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Davey, baby, how are you doing? Now, David, tell us about Bernard's Watch. How does it work? Well, there's a special button on the watch, and when you press it, time stops for everybody except Bernard. Ooh. So you can run around and do cool stuff when time stops. Wow. Right, right, right. You promised you'd bring Bernard's watch with you so uh, we could see what it looks like. So let's have it. Come on. Sorry, I forgot. Hey. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. I talked to you on the phone, you faker. You're getting on our 
show under false pretenses. I brought Bernard's pen. Oh, wow. Well, well, does this stop time as well? Uh, no, but it clicks when you press the thing at the end. Oh, come on. <laughs> you little faking fluff bunny, get out before I... I brought something else. What? Bernard's pants. Huh? Do they have any special powers? Yes, they smell of Bernard's parts. Oh, come on! Come <laughs> on, Get out, you! Go on! Ouch. OK, that's Ouch. Bernard's Ouch. lunch on CITV for real comedy. Oh, the Ooh. chic! I, I can't believe it, the bare feet. Um, sorry about that. Uh, oh, now, please welcome our final guest today. Hopefully he'll be better. From Big Bang and How To, it's Gareth Jones! <laughs> I'm going to have a little lie down now. Oh, OK, oh, Anthony, whatever yes. you want, darling. See, stop, don't. Let her do what she wants. So, Gareth, how are you? Um, I'm relaxed and groovy. How are you guys? Great. Cool. Now, Gareth, on How To, which is like one of our favourite shows, by the way, you tell us how to do things. Well, yeah, that's because I am the Gareth Jones, mm -hmm. and then, of course, I know the answer, how to do everything. Well, that's oh. probably because you read loads of brainy science books and stuff like that. Actually... See, it isn't. Really? No, well, you see, when I was two years old, a strange and mysterious man appeared at my mother's door in North Wales. Wow. He said, Greetings, woman. I am Maktar, High Priest of Knossos. Wow. I am the last remaining High Priest because my son has decided not to enter a career in the priesthood, but instead to open up a string rental shop in Islington. Wow. I will bestow upon you a gift, Mrs. Jones, he said. This is the sacred turnip of Knossos. <laughs> it will give Gareth incredible powers. It will enable him to explain how everything works. Right, right. Gareth. Gareth? <laughs> hmm? You're mad in the head, aren't you? No, no, no. <laughs> I am the owner of the turnip of Knossos. Right. I can explain incredible things. Yes. Watch, watch as I show. I'm and sorry you about can, this, Anthony. Balance a shoe on your head. Right. You think that's incredible? Uh, what's Watch the, this. Dig the 50 p for the meter. A jug of cup down the front of your trousers. You forgot to dig the meter. Hang on. Dig the 50 p. Okay, hang on. I think I've got it now. Oh, the custard slippers down inside the trousers, and that's how you pour an entire jug of custard oh, into your pants. Yes. And I yeah. know this, of course, because of the holy pineapple of Knossos. Pineapple. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I thought you said it was a turnip! It was! Ha ha! Hey. Now oh. I have the turnip. Now I will know everything. And I can just rule the world. What? But Anthea Turner, you're so nice. I can't believe you've stolen the holy turnip. This is fantastic. What? Hey. This is the best thing that could have possibly happened what? to me. Well, I've been trying to get rid of that turnip for years. But well, wait a minute, doesn't it sort of let you know everything? Well, you see, with every root vegetable, there is a fluffing downside. Uh. Apart from having all this knowledge, the thing is, you find yourself being a bit of a bore at parties as uh. you explain things. You wake up in the middle of the night wondering how the internal combustion engine works. No, I don't want to be a bore at parties and I don't want to know how an engine works. Here, you have it. No, I will not. I don't Wait. want it. No, thank you. You stole it. You're stuck with it, anti a turnip. Yes, go on. Get, get, get lost. You, get you lost, mister. Robber. Ladies and gentlemen, anti a turnip. Guys, I suppose now I know nothing. There's no need for me to be here. I, yes. I might as well go. Might as well. You don't know where I can get a number 72 bus, do you? Oh, um, well, I don't really. Just ask the pineapple, Gareth. What? Eh? The mystical pineapple of bus timetables. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. I've never heard anything as ridiculous in all my life. The number 72 bus leave eh? from station C. Mm. Journey takes approximately 11 minutes. Buses arrive every 13 minutes. They go on the 205, the oh. A215. Everyone's happy stop now. At Finsbury, yeah. Hitherington, and I wish he'd to learn how to shut up. Apart from <laughs> Thanks, when everyone. Tune in next week stopped, to the Zig and Zag Show for more guests and no less vegetables. Bye. Bye. What craziness! What what utter craziness! Holy turnips of Canossus, pineapples of bus timetables. Has the world gone mad? I mean, what will be next, Zig? Why don't we ask? The fish finger of fate. <laughs> hello, hello. Is that the fish finger of fate? Oh. Yes. Hello, hello. Oh, it's engaged.